Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with The Movement System. Today we're going to talk about study material for the CSCS exam. So if you found this video, chances are you're studying to become a certified strength conditioning specialist through the NSCA. I became a CSCS certified strength conditioning specialist in 2017 and when I was studying, I really just used the book. The NSCA's Essentials of Strength Training and Conditioning book and really this is the number one resource. I definitely recommend if you're studying for the CSCS, have the book. This is like the Bible of strength conditioning and you need to learn it. But whenever I was studying, I was always wondering why aren't there any videos out there? Like, Why aren't there videos that just explain some of these concepts with pictures and diagrams and make it more easy? So once I actually got my CSCS and understood how some of these things related and how I could teach other people about them, I started making videos. And you may have seen some of these. I make made videos about nutrition, about work to rest ratios, about program design, and all of these videos have really helped people who are visual learners like myself understand how these concepts relate and how do you actually apply the science to your athletes. So this video is really just to explain to you guys what study materials I have. If you've watched one or two of my videos or maybe you're in the Facebook group, I just wanted to show you guys what study materials I have in terms of free notes, free programs, free study calendar, and then also some paid stuff which I'll talk about at the end if you're interested. So to start off, if you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe to this channel. I make a lot of videos that are really helpful and I really try to put a lot into these videos to make sure they're educational and informative and helpful. Secondly, you can join the Strength Conditioning Study Group on Facebook. This group is dedicated to studying and learning about strength conditioning. We do poll questions, we do Facebook Lives talking about things in detail, we do discussion posts, and really all learn together. It's a great group, everyone in there is really nice and encouraging and motivating and all working towards a similar goal of advancing their knowledge of the world of strength conditioning and helping their athletes. So if that's something you're into, definitely go ahead and check out the strength conditioning study group on Facebook. There's a link in the description below to join. So a lot of people here on YouTube and in the Facebook group had asked me, what's a good plan for studying for this exam? Because again, you do need to put a lot of time into studying. So in response to that, I actually made a study calendar, which is this. And this study calendar just basically lays out the order that I recommend learning things in. So in general, it's best to start with anatomy and physiology and cardiovascular adaptations because those are really the foundations for a lot of the other material that you'll learn in the next chapters. So if you can understand planes of motion, anatomy, muscle physiology, how a muscle contracts, cardiovascular adaptations and bioenergetics and things like that, that will really lay the foundation for understanding program design and work to rest ratios and some of the more specific training adaptations. So I do recommend starting with the scientific foundations and the physiology and then slowly working into aerobic training adaptations, anaerobic training adaptations, nutrition, um, and then building at towards the end on periodization, program design, test selection and administration because a lot of those topics really do require you to have that scientific foundation. So I don't know if you're coming from a background of kinesiology or maybe you just have a, an unrelated degree and some experience and that will determine whether you should spend more time maybe on the scientific foundations or spend more time on the practical application. But either way, it is really important that you do have those solid foundations of understanding how these physiological adaptations work before you start trying to understand and memorize programming. Because memorizing really doesn't get you anywhere, especially for this exam where all the questions are very detailed and require you to really understand this stuff to a greater extent. So if you do want the study calendar and all my notes, you can actually go ahead and follow the link in the description below to join the email list for the movement system and you'll automatically get the study calendar and the other notes that I have as well. And another thing you'll get if you join the email list is a basic program template. And this is something that I think everyone who's studying for the CSCS exam should have is a basic programming template that they can actually download on Excel and modify themselves and make it their own color scheme, make it their own sets and reps and, and work with it hands on because this is really how you actually learn how to write programs. So overall, I've gotten really good feedback from the videos and the information, the notes, but some people have been asking, do you have something that's just systematic that takes you like one step at a time all the way from start to finish and gives you everything you need to know? And that's why I actually created the strength conditioning study course. The strength conditioning study course goes chapter by chapter through the material with in-depth videos, quizzes, and notes. As a visual learner, I really learned well whenever I could see graphics and pictures and also relate the concepts of the science and the bioenergetics and the endocrine 
all the way back to the programming decisions for athletes. And that's really what people have benefited the most from, from the study course. So really the course was designed to give you those aha moments where whenever you're learning a concept and you're in the weeds and really just seeing all these details, it's really hard to step out and actually see how that concept actually relates to other concepts and what is actually important of that information that you're seeing. So that's really what the study course is designed to do and it's really organized so you can work through it step by step. So instead of being overwhelmed by the whole book and the whole amount of information that you have to know, you can just go one chapter at a time, work through the video, reference the book for what you need, and then practice in quizzes and with the notes. The study course also includes a ton of bonus material, including practice tests, a practical application webinar, a testing and administration webinar, and more. In total, it's over 200 questions as well as over 20 hours of in-depth video content and a ton of really good notes. There's also a study guide to highlight some of the most important information so that you know where to focus, as well as a must-know fact sheet with the very most important information that you absolutely have to know before taking the exam. So overall, I created the study course for visual learners who learn really well from videos. So if you've been watching some of my other YouTube videos and it's been really helpful to see me walk through the calculations and walk through the material in that way, then chances are you're going to really benefit from the in-depth videos and notes and quizzes in the study course. Either way, whether you decide to sign up or not, I hope that you guys go ahead and take all the information from the movement system and go out and make the world stronger. So if you wanna learn more about the study course, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And I'll also leave a link to my 140 question practice test in the link in the description below as well, which gives you 140 well-written questions that are broken down into scientific foundations and practical applied. Once you complete the test, it'll actually give you your score so you can see where you're at and most importantly, you can download the answer key, which explains the answer for each question and why the other choices were not correct. And that's really important for understanding your mistakes and where you could have made improvements. And if you're interested in that, go ahead and click the link in the description below for the 140 question practice test. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.